Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul Detect John and welcome to the channel. Are you bored of doing this with your old blinds? Would you rather be doing this? Well, thanks to the guys at box.co.uk, I've got the solution for you. And that comes in the form of this Somfy Motorized Wire-Free Blind Kit. Now on a serious note, if you've got old blinds like this and you want to turn them into a motorised blind, then these kits will be right up your street because they've got everything that you need in one box to convert your old blind to a motorised blind. So the good thing about this is if you like your existing blind material, then you can simply use that with this kit. So you get all the, your uh, the roller in there, you get your motor, uh, battery pack is all included, the charger, like I say, it's wire free, so no need to like get an electrician in to wire it up or anything like that. And of course, you get your remote control, which is the best thing about it. Now, me and my partner have decided not to use the original blind material, and uh, we've gone out and bought some fresh stuff because we fancy the change. So this installation may be just slightly different than if you were to use your existing material. Right, so first thing we're gonna do is get one of these tubes opened up and uh, take a look at the contents. So we've got all the contents out of the box and the uh, first thing that we are presented with is the uh, large aluminium pole that we're gonna need to cut to length and uh, fit the material to. Moving on, and uh, we have got our battery pack stroke motor. Got a couple of wires coming out of there. I think one's the antenna, and that one is to plug the charger into to uh, charge up that battery. And talking about the charger, we've got that there in that box. Moving on, and uh, got some fittings there. Look like the end plates to uh, fit the pole to. A load of instructions and then finally in here is the bit that we all really want to see and that is the remote control which we will have a fiddle around with once we've got it all set up and it comes with this handy little hook as well so you can attach it onto the wall now before we start this fit in just a few things to take note of so not included but needed is fabric hacksaw, drill, spirit level, and screwdriver. So the first thing that we are gonna do is remove the original blind, and then we are gonna measure and cut this aluminium pole to fit the new blind material. Once we've done that, we'll fit a couple of components to the end of the pole, and then fit the material to the pole itself. That's my elbow making that noise. Right, so I've measured our uh, fabric or material and uh, just gonna transfer those measurements to this aluminium pole, making the mark on this uh, double-sided sticky tape stuff here and that's where we will cut. Slow and steady wins the race. And that's what I tell the missus anyway. Well, I forget I've left the battery inside my saw for a while. And look at that for a perfect cut. Shame it's the other end I cut, but still, that end looks really nice. Now I've just got to fit these components to the motor itself. But one thing I just want to show you guys quickly is how nicely it is all laid out here. The uh, contents and a list of every item that is there. So it's nice and straightforward to understand. Fitted those components to the end of the motor there. Now all we've got to do is uh, slide it into this tube. So you've just got to uh, line up the grooves like that and slide it home. And then line up this part. And then with any luck, he says, there we go, jobs are good. 
Right, what we're going to do now is transfer the fabric from this pole to the Sompfi aluminium pole. So I'm just going to carefully start peeling this off. So just fitting this uh, fabric, material, whatever you want to call it, to the pole. And I'm just doing a little bit at a time and uh, not rushing it to uh, make sure I get it all nice and straight. Right, that's the uh, fabric now all fitted to that pole. And it's uh, now time to fit the end brackets to the wall. Right, the brackets are now all installed and I was fortunate enough that I could use the existing holes. So that's uh, great news. So all that's left to do now is to actually hang the blind itself and fit these end caps. Right, and there we go. It is all now fitted as you can see. And to be fair, that was simple enough to do. Now, before I give you guys a demonstration, I just want to say that if you do want to pick one of these up for yourselves, then I will be leaving a link in the description that would take you to the guys at box.co.uk who were kind enough to send these over to me to uh, fit and demonstrate for you guys. Right, I think it's time to give you guys a demonstration of this blind in action. And I've gone ahead and had a little fiddle with it. And I'll be honest, at first I thought there was something wrong with it. So I was pressing the buttons on the remote, nothing was happening. But it turns out it's actually a button on the end of the blind there. Give that a press and the blind came into life, moved up and down. Press the buttons on air again, still nothing was happening. But it turns out you've got to hold down the up and down buttons at the same time. And there you go. It then comes into life via the remote and then we can just use the buttons there to come in a little bit closer. So just pressing it once up or down and it moves in small increments. But you ain't going to really want to be doing that all the time. You're going to want to just do it one press to move it down and one press to move it back up again. So I'm going to show you how you can program it. So this is dead simple to do. So what we're gonna do is move the blind up to the position where we want it to be at the top. So I'm gonna say about there, that'll do. And what I'm gonna do is press the down button and the my button at the same time, and that will lock in the top position where I want the blind to stop to. So as you can see, the blind will now come down. I'll press the my button when it gets to around the level that I want it to stop to. So just let that come down now. And I'm gonna say about there. And now you can move it up or down if you want to just tweak it. So to set the bottom level, I will hold down the my button and the up button at the same time. Now that should, with any luck now, go to that set limit that I set a minute ago at the top. With any luck. There we go. So now if I just hold down that my button, that should lock in that program now. So now with one press down, that should take it to that lower position. This is where it all goes wrong and just unreels the whole lot. Up. No, there you go, look at that, perfect. And just one last time, press them up. How good is that? I think that's a job well done. And at any point, say if I now just want to move it down just a little bit, I press down, press the my button and I can stop it. Like that. So your my button acts as a stop button as well as so press it up and stop like that. All simple. Now the final thing I just want to talk to you guys about is charging the device. So as I showed you earlier, we've got this uh, power cable just there. And behind the blind here, I've just got tucked up is the wire. Now, lucky enough, we've got sockets over here. So I could plug that in and plug that straight in to that cable up there, or if you haven't got a socket handy, it is easy enough to just unhook that blind, take it down and put it closer to a socket where you can plug it all in. 
Well, there you have it then, guys. Once again, a massive thanks to the guys at Box.co.uk and the guys at Somfy for sending over these blankets. And if you enjoyed this video today, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button for more of in the future. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.